Well, thank you. Uh, speaking of the weather, you know, it's already been heating up in the valley, but up in the high country, there's still a lot of good skiing Yeah, left. we knew there was going to be some great spring skiing. So right now there's a ski program up at Snow Bowl that has really taken off. So Jessica Parsons went up there and she's got a, a story on what they're doing. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, yeah, Snow Bowl is planning to stay open at least through Easter, so you have about two weeks left. The weather they had this year has really been one for the books, and so is this ski academy. It's grown 50 times larger since it started, but it's not for everyone. It's specially designed for special athletes. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you? <laughs> All bundled up and ready to hit the slopes. This helmet's pretty warm too, so that'll be nice. Logan Kelso is about to do something he never thought possible. As long as it's covering your hand, it's still gonna keep you warm, you know? Can you step over with one leg? Is that warm? Um, they have disabilities, but they're just like everybody else. They wanna have the same experience as everybody else. Just do it, give them a chance. Sherry is an avid skier, and she's always wanted to share this sport with her son, Logan. Bunch of straps. You become the ski boot. It does require quite a bit of medical knowledge and, and knowledge about disabilities and, and disability etiquette. You're fast on your feet. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Alex Davenport and his team were determined to make it happen. We've come a long way here at the Arizona Snow Bowl to create and make these beautiful mountains behind me accessible for everybody. And it starts with the right equipment. Well, this is uh, what we call the ski legs or ski walker. This particular um, piece of equipment is good for very athletic paraplegics for the most part. They're about ready to load the lift. They can lift this little lever up. This is brand new technology. The chairlift will come up and sweep them up. They get themselves on. They, again, they can do it independently. Lift up, now back, and we're all set. Logan has bilateral hearing loss and cerebral palsy. He's now among thousands of skiers participating in Snowball's adaptive ski program. And right turn, and left turn, and right turn, hold it, hold it, and left turn. Got you, I got you. It's a ski school that started eight years ago with just 12 lessons. I mean, we've seen lives changed here, uh, just right on these slopes. And, you know, whether it be a simple gliding down in just a few feet or taking a sit ski up to the top of the mountain at 11,500 feet and screaming down. Today, 600 classes are booked each season with certified instructors and trained volunteers. And sometimes the volunteer's job is just to make sure that people stay away and to, to I have an extra set of eyes to make sure that everything that we're doing is safe. With the goal of providing freedom and a little fun to everybody, no matter what the challenge. I'm going to be proud. Did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go more? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And left turn to a stop. <laughs> Now, this ski school is based on those big national programs that they have in Colorado and Utah. In fact, a lot of those instructors travel to those areas to get trained and certified because it's all about safety. And for this summer, they want to expand. So they're hoping to offer adaptive horseback riding and white river rafting. They really want to make Northern Arizona accessible to everybody all year round. And to find out more and how you can help, just head over to azfamily.com. That is so cool. That is really Thank great. Jessica, it was nice amazing. Job. Just watching his yeah. face coming down the mountain, it was such a thrill to even be a part of it. I mean, to, to be a family and to learn that that opportunity is out there, it's mm -hmm. just got to be incredible. So much freedom. Yeah, totally. Uh, quick story. You asked uh, Arnold was with you. You yes. were <laughs> talking about Arnold shooting all the time. <laughs> right. Uh, you said, hey, wow, can he, he ski? ski? <laughs> uh, well, we went to tell you right for the morning show quite a few years ago. Dan Davis, me and Arnold, uh -huh. we were up skiing. So Dan and I stopped for a beer halfway down, <laughs> oh, no. and we were like, somebody fell down up there. And then they brought these emergency crews up, and we're sitting here like, wonder who that is. And then they there brought him down the mountain. It was oh, Arnold. No. He broke his, oh. his arm or his shoulder. And we're like, wow, that was Arnold. He's so like, just, with friends like you. I guess he'll go to the hospital. We'll finish these beers. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, he would not go up. We stayed at the bottom safely, yeah. and then we sent a GoPro. He learned his he lesson. Thought, if he gets hurt, nobody will come help him. That's right. right. Well, the beer, it's yeah. nice and cold, so what are you going to do? Thanks, Jess.